Hello everyone. Today we are here with Deb Kasher from Exodus Corporation to talk about airborne molecular contamination monitoring in their precision optical component manufacturing environments. Deb is the cleaning process engineer at Exoditas. We are also here with Isidro Sanchez from Particle Measuring Systems. Isidro is the product line manager for uh, aerosols, gas, and molecular contamination product lines. Isidro has been with PMS for seven years and is a professional in the semiconductor industry in various engineering and leadership roles for close to 18 years in total. Uh, hello, everybody. Hello. hello. Deb. Can you talk to us about the implementation of AMC monitoring using the particle measuring systems AirSentry 2 product line? Sure. Um, I will start by saying that Excel Toss Technologies in Boulder has been a longstanding customer of particle measuring systems. Uh, we use their particle counters in our ISO class five and seven clean rooms, uh, where we coat optics and make optical assemblies. We use uh, particle measuring's liquid particle counters to monitor our processed DI water and some ultrasonic rinse baths. Around three years ago, we became interested in monitoring our clean room for organic and inorganic AMC for customers that need optics and optical assemblies for uh, use in high fluence DUV laser systems. Uh, so I reached out to Isidro to see how particle measuring systems could help. Super. So what specific features were you interested in regarding the Air Century product line? So we needed to characterize the levels of ambient acids and amines around our clean room. Uh, and we really liked that particle measuring systems has a mobile cart fitted with Air Century units that we could move to different locations to map the levels around our clean room. Uh, we followed a basic DMAIC approach to first characterize the process floor um, and then identify any areas that needed extra attention to make sure that our ambient air would comply with our customer specifications. We knew that we wanted the ability to get reliable data very quickly in very specific locations so we could determine where we had hot spots and where we needed to make improvements to bring the concentrations of acids and amines down to acceptable levels. So you followed the define, measure, analyze, improve control strategy known as DMAIC? Yes, and we liked the idea that we could use the Air Century 2 mobile cart system for the define, measure, and improve phases of the project. Uh, because the mobile platform gave us the versatility to move to any location on the floor to gather real-time continuous data on the total acids and amines concentrations. Super. So Isidro, when Deb contacted you, what were your thoughts? I thought Deb had a great plan, and PMS did have the right tools to help Excelitas arrive at some quick, meaningful actions to characterize the area, bring them into spec with extra AMC filtration if needed, and we would do that with the mobile cart. Um, the air sentry itself is a highly sensitive AMC measurement product. The point of use form factor of the total amines and total acids analyzers have a highly sensitive, highly sensitive detection limit of 70 parts per trillion. And when supported by the mobile cart platform, its detection limit sensitivity is still 200 parts per trillion. So I knew we would measure at concentration levels that mattered to Excelitas. Also, if AMC concentrations do change, whether that comes from moving the cart from an area of low concentrations to higher concentrations, or if the concentration should change when installing new or different AMC filters, the Air Sentry 2's extremely fast response and clear down times would be critical for that fast feedback. In fact, the Air Sentry 2 will reliably detect in real time in a matter of minutes, if not seconds. Then, of course, I was thinking how eventually, once those define, measure, and improve objectives were met, Excel Tusk could establish significant levels of process control by installing permanent point of use analyzers to measure total amines and total concentrations on a 24 by 7 basis moving forward. With those point of use analyzers in place, cleanroom personnel could use the data to make quick go, no go, or corrective decisions on the production floor if any kind of event. Um, any kind of AMC event occurred. Deb, how did that sound from your standpoint in meeting your objectives, your business objectives? It sounded great uh, because not only would our production folks know that they could run the process with confidence, uh, that AMCs would not cause hidden defects in our optical components, but we would also have continuous historical data to show that our production floor was in control 
uh, data that we could share with our customers. So our customers would know that if AMC levels were to ever drift out of control, we would be equipped to make data-driven decisions in real time uh, to not run at risk and potentially cause defects that could manifest within our customers' process tools. And so how did the project uh, turn out, Deb? It worked well. Um, we gathered data around our clean rooms with a mobile cart. Isidro and uh, his staff of applications engineers at Particle Measuring were there to help with on-site startup and calibration. They trained our team on how to use and maintain the equipment for optimal performance. Um, we reviewed all the data together. Uh, particle measuring systems helped with uh, consulting on the steps we needed to take to bring our hotspots into control. Um, we made the changes that we thought were necessary, adding some new filtration and specialty equipment in a couple of locations. And then we went back in with a mobile cart to make sure the changes to our filtration and equipment were effective. Um, so now um, we have some permanent Air Sentry 2 point of users, point of use analyzers uh, installed to ensure that we are sustaining the AMC concentration levels that our business requires. Fantastic. Deb Isidro, thank you so much for your time today. It's always great to hear about success stories like this one and partnerships like this one. We look forward to hearing more in the future. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you.